Hi, I'm Pete Holman, co-creator of the Golf Forever Swing Trainer. In this setup and basic use tutorial, I'm going to take you through everything you need to know on how to get started using your swing trainer. So without further ado, let's get after it. I want to first talk about the different configurations while using the swing trainer. The first configuration is using weighted balls. To attach the weighted balls, you simply depress the green button on the end of the shaft, slide the weighted ball on, rotate until you hear an audible click, ensuring that the ball is securely fixated. To remove the ball, you simply do the exact same procedure in reverse. Depress the green button, rotate the ball, and remove it from the end of the shaft. Let's take a look at the second configuration while using the swing trainer. We're going to use an elastic resistance cord where most of your training is going to reside. All you do is open the swing gate of the carabiner, attach to the swiveling eye bolt, and make sure it's securely locked in place. Now that you have the elastic resistance cord attached to the swing trainer, we now need to anchor it to a solid fixed object, something that is not going to move under force or load. One of the easiest ways to do this, especially at home, is to use the door anchor that is provided with the kit. Now to fixate or anchor the door anchor, you simply open a door, slide the anchor in the door wedge or the door hinge on either the middle hinge, the bottom hinge, or the top hinge, depending on our programming, and then make sure you close the door, tug on the door anchor, and make sure it's securely fixated. However, you can also easily anchor the resistance cord outside to a park bench, a railing, a tree, or even a golf cart. Now that you have the swing trainer anchored, I want you to take a look at the hand grips. We've got some demarcation zones that help our coaches cue you and instruct you through the workouts. You'll notice G1, G2, G3, which is dense center of the bar, G4, and G5. These demarcation zones are going to be utilized by the instructors to help coach and cue you through the different workouts. There's two different ball weights while using the swing trainer. The green ball is going to mimic the dynamic feel of a driver with a D3 swing weight. However, when attached to the bar, it weighs about two and a half times the weight of a driver. And the gray ball is heavier for overloaded speed training. Now that you have the swing trainer anchored, I want to get you familiar with the different body orientations. You can stand facing the anchor point, sideways to the anchor point, or you can stand facing away from the anchor point. You can also use different foot positions. You can stand in a parallel stance, a split stance, a single leg stance. You can also do exercises on the ground. You can get in a half kneeling position, a tall kneeling position, or even seated, depending on the exercise. Now, as you're using the swing trainer, you got to make sure that you have adequate space to the left, to the right, and even above you, so that you don't compromise the integrity of the exercise and you don't hit anyone or anything. You now have the basics to set up and use the swing trainer. But remember, this trainer comes to life through our content. So if you're not a member, join today.